The moment is here, you can stop your search. It's Comics by Perch. Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, trauma in comics got explored uh, several years ago. I, if, you know, it's funny. Trauma in comics has actually been explored for decades. It's one of the uh, kind of the more aggravating things when you think about it. Um, Heroes in Crisis came out several years ago, and uh, it promised an exploration of trauma in comics as if it had never been explored before. Now, I, you know, to try and tilt the video a little bit more positive, I'm not going to spend 10 minutes talking about Tom King uh, and that, that book. I, I've, I've talked about it before. I've done a sales analysis, all these other things. And but so there's no need to really say much about it. Uh, but I want to compare and contrast uh, to you know a little bit Heroes in Crisis. I'm going into it, but more um, a series that hasn't ended yet. So in fairness, it could end terribly. It could definitely it could definitely uh, not stick the ending. Um, but Christopher Priest, a priest, uh, is currently doing a series called Superman Lost, and this comic is. Um, I don't. It's it's actually going out of its way in in a lot of cases not to market itself as a book about trauma, uh, but it 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 is it is. It's actually it's set up a really unique situation that I think is uh, is pretty cool. Kind of a fascinating concept. One that in you know in fairness, I remember people talking about this in the store. So as an idea, it's not like this wholly unique, never been thought of ever before idea, but it is something that really hasn't been tackled in comics in any kind of major way. Uh, there have been comics for sure about people who get lost in time and then time has passed and, you know, and, and they've, they've toyed with that. But in this, it, you know, in this instance, what happens is that, you know, the, the justice league are fighting, you know, a villain and uh, Superman gets hurled, you know, far, far away from earth. Um, so long that it is, uh, you know, it, it's it's going to take him. I don't remember what it's. I, I don't remember the the timeline, but it's like he was gone on Earth for three days, but in his life he was gone for like a hundred years. From basically, he lived kind of a couple lifetimes, and um, you know, without Lois and without Earth, and he finds himself. You know, it's it's kind of like the uh, what Rick Remender did with Captain America. Only this one is dealt with more tragedy, uh, where Cap got sent into the, uh, you know, the, 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 you know, the mad dimension, uh, the Zola, uh, dimension and, uh, basically, you know, lost, you know, some amount of time. Again, I don't remember how much that one was either, like, like 30 years time. And, you know, and then, but on earth he was gone for like 20 seconds. So he finds himself once again, having to struggle to reintegrate with society and everything else. Uh, but by and large, in this Marvel comic, I mean, it's a Marvel superhero book and Cap's got adventures to face and everything else. So while Reminder, I, I think, did a good job of, of touching on some of the aspects and the kind of the weight it put on Cap and some of the other pieces, you know, the, the idea of Ruzza really able to be fleshed out kind of in length. And then Reminder was off the book uh, through the uh, various shenanigans over at Marvel and, um, you know, and then then it's done. Um. With this Superman Lost book, I think they're doing a really good job of, you know, where it works is that we're not losing Superman along the way of this exploration of trauma. Now, by the way, I should point out that, you know, as a recommendation, I do recommend this book. I think it's a, a pretty interesting story. They're doing some really unique things with it. Um, but I don't want, you know, don't be under any illusions. If you if you are not, if you, if you're tired of books that are, you know, down and sad, this one is not going to be for you. It is a a book where, you know, there's a heavy weight. Now, my suspicion is Priest will stick the landing. A lot of it's going to be about Superman finds his way back home again, home being both Earth and, and Lois and his relationship and everything else, home being kind of himself. Uh, but, um, you know, at the moment, it's Superman is, you know, talking to a therapist. It's Superman. That sounds really dull when I say it that way, but I was comparing what, what got my mind on <clears throat> the uh, Heroes in Crisis situation is in Heroes in Crisis, we get these uh, one panel, you know, talking into the camera like it's, you know, a big brother or, a, you know, confessional in a reality TV show. And it is, uh, it, it's set up like a gag. And that's ultimately what Tom King is doing. He's talking about dealing with trauma, but 
really it's just designed to do a bunch of kind of one one line gags about you know heroes being depressed and other things then you know they do another one where he's going to reference the killing joke so a bunch of his uh friends on twitter can go oh finally somebody addressed that you know the sick parts that alan moore book that should be retired i have no idea by the way why lunatics on social media have it out for killing joke i don't think it's the best comic ever written i nor do i think it's bad i think it's still pretty good has good art it tells a good story and i i get you know i i hate to believe that the the big reason why people uh pick on that book is because um well, Barbara Gordon, that that you know that situation just was icky. Uh, the Joker is it was icky. Joker was a villain. He is a villain. Like what? What do you think? Villains? That's what villains do, dummy. But anyway, um, <laughs> they have it out for that book. Um, but you know, Tom King does this bit where Barbara Gordon stands up and they take a you know long lingering view of the scar of where she was shot, and you know it's 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 meant to be poignant. But unfortunately, when sandwiched between all these other you know, in cut, you know, one liners, it, it feels like a parody of itself and it doesn't feel like it's dealing with trauma. It feels like it's exploiting trauma. You know, the book doesn't, the, you know, with the twists and the turns, the stuff we're going to do with Harley and, oh, we're going to, and it, it, the book felt like it was using trauma as a plot device, as opposed to actually doing what it claimed it was doing, which was showing the consequences of some of these events. You didn't get any of that with Heroes in Crisis. But you are getting that with Superman Law. So, you know, flung far away from home, he's trying to fight his way back. He, uh, you know, he's, he's, there's a red sun. He has no ability to kind of recharge himself. He's, um, you know, having to kind of rely on, on other people on the way, some of which are, you know, not helpful. Um, he's got, it, it's, it, there's a lot to it. Um, but it's, it's really well, it's really well put together. And I think uh, overall, um, it's, it's, it, I mean, it's answering some good questions, but, but here's the key in this comic, Superman is trying to find his way back. He's, uh, suffered a lot of setbacks. He's finding people he can't trust. He's struggling with, uh, kind of, you know, being lost and, you know, will he ever make it home and how far and it, is he getting set back? And he, and through all this, Superman is not taking the easy way. He's got a couple options to. You know, well, this will get you home, but you're going to have to leave these people to suffer. And he won't do it. He, you know, setting himself back and he knows that he is uh, in trouble, but he won't, uh, he just won't, you know, he, he won't take the easy route. He's still Superman. And as he's getting home, he's still, I'd say he's having adventures. Adventure sounds too flippant. It's not like that. It's definitely a desperate, you know, search for his return. But he, you know, it's still a Superman book. So he is taking the time to kind of liberate a planet and, you know, helping people along the way because that's who he is. And so that makes for a more powerful book because as we see, you know, the, the movie is, or the movie, the, the book is having kind of in the present, Superman has come home and he can't relate to Lois and he's, he's just, he's kind of, they're traumatized basically. Um, but he's trying because he's Superman. And simultaneously, um, then it's, it's taking us back to kind of how he got home and kind of the various steps there. And it's showing kind of the, the temptations he's had, both physical and, and in adventures. And he's remaining true to himself. He's still Superman. You see, the, the, the story is setting up a will trauma erode who he is. Will, you know, he, it's, it's clearly having an impact on him. But, you know, where does it, where does it sit with his core? Where does his, do his values start to erode as this guy is, you know, weighted down by all these things that are happening? And it, it, they're interesting questions to ask. And the result is you get a good exploration of trauma, but you also get a Superman book. You're not getting a, you know, a book pretending to kind of, you know, what, very, frankly, exploit trauma and then just throw a bunch of random heroes in there. I mean, here's the tough part with uh, Heroes in Crisis is you could very easily have that be a Marvel book. You know, you could just swap characters out. You could have, you know, Jessica Jones standing there instead of, uh, you know, Barbara Gordon talking about what went on with the Purple Man and exploiting that. You could have, you know, jokey comments uh, from Groot. You, know, you could, like, you could very easily, if you read that book, the, the characters almost don't matter. It's a DC book, but it could just as easily be a Marvel book because it doesn't have the heart 
of the characters involved. You know, you even take a character like Wally, who was, you know, they, they, the story of one to tell is like one mistake and can have a consequence, one slip. And rather than use it as a way to show kind of PTSD and the impact of, of heroes and what they go through, instead, it just, it feels like it shoehorns something into Wally. It doesn't feel natural and, and, and right. So I, I think the, I, I recommend this Superman Lost book. It's a 12 issue miniseries. And uh, it's got it's got great art. Now they are doing the thing where you've got different artists, different types, and that drives me crazy. But it does uh, it does do a great job. I think the comic, uh, the story writing is is really solid. It's really thoughtful, and it's it's a downer. Like it's a, it's a very down take on things, but it's still an authentic take. The characters are still the characters. It exploring kind of interesting question: What happens if the hero gets tossed far from their home, can't make it back? You know what? How does that go? What is, how does that go? How does that work? And it winds up being a pretty interesting story that that's told. So I would recommend it. Check it out. And I think it also shows, you know, I'll leave you with this, you know, a lot of the deconstruction, the dark take on heroes, the down look on things, uh, they're tiring. Um, and a lot of the cases are tiring because they have to warp and change the heroes in the process. Here, Priest is, is giving us a, you know, a, a, a tough take on a hero but it's still the hero. You know, it, it's possible to do these books and explore these themes and, and do something that's that's not, you know, cheerful and light and not, you know, and still be authentic to the, the writing. And that's, uh, unfortunately, I, I think that's, that uh, doesn't happen as much as it should. So uh, hats off, the Superman Lost book, it's, it's an interesting premise, some good art, it's a nice story, and um, I'm curious to see if he sticks landing. I, I desperately hope he does. Uh, but something very different to read, and I'd recommend it. Anyway, thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>